Hi students, welcome to Evershine Coaching Center. Myself, Shah Faisal sir here. Dear students, today we are going to start the new chapter of class 9 ICSE syllabus mathematics. Okay, that is area and perimeter of plane figures. This is unit number 6. This is unit number 6. It comes under mensuration. Okay. So, this is the very important chapter, my dear students, you should not miss. Here, we are going to complete this chapter in detail. We are going to solve each and every problem of this chapter. Seriously, it will be very interesting. And believe me, here, I will be going to train you the concepts with many logics and shortcuts. So, please follow me. And still, if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel, do subscribe it, Evershine Coaching Groups. This is our YouTube channel name. And do not forget to click the like button, click the bell icon, share and comment after the session. Thank you. Now, let's begin with the new concept. See, children, here in this session, in the intro, we are going to discuss the very important formulas when and where what we have to use. That is very important. First, you should have the list of the formulas. Then we have to start solving the problems. The first important thing is, let me discuss about rectangle and square. We are going to discuss about rectangle and square. Rectangle and a square. In this rectangle and square, first what we are going to do, we are going to find the area and perimeter of first rectangle. What children, we are going to find the area of rectangle. First we are going to discuss the topic area of rectangle. Children, I hope you all know the property of a rectangle. Just I am short, like uh, just rough diagram I am going to draw. So this is the rectangle. Let me say, this is A b c and d remember children in this rectangle all these sides are perpendicular to each other condition one and then condition number two all the sides are perpendicular and then condition number two opposite sides are parallel a b and c d are parallel to each other and a d and b c are parallel to each other and a and c if you are going to join or b and d if you are going to join that is called as diagonal that is called as diagonal. Remember the namings A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. Can you see the figure? A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A. These are called as sides of the rectangle. Done. And A, C is the diagonal. A, C is the diagonal. So, what is the diagonal? So, diagonal here is nothing but root of L square plus B square. So, what is this? Root of L square plus B square. L is nothing but the length and B is nothing but the breadth. So, AB is the length and BC is the breadth. That is L into B. Okay. First, we have to find the area of rectangle. Whenever you get the formula to find the area of rectangle, remember, you are supposed to write that as length into breadth. Length into length into breadth. That is the formula to find the area of rectangle. In shortcut, we write as capital A. A means area of rectangle. That is L into B. L into B. Now, what is the SI unit? Whenever you get the word called as area, remember, you are supposed to write square. You are supposed to write square. That is SQ dot, that is square centimeter or centimeter square. If the length is given, given as centimeter, then you should write square centimeter or centimeter square also you can write. If they have given in meter, then you can write as meter square. Okay, good. You understood children? So, what is the formula to find the area of rectangle? That is length into breadth. Length into breadth. Now, children, here one thing you can uh, make sure very importantly, this formula can be written in many ways. The same formula what we have written we can write in many ways. Like an example, if you want to find length, you want length, then you should do A by B. That is same formula. Keep L as it is, B cross multiply. So, what happens? It becomes A by B. That is L is equals to A by B 
that is length. If you want breadth, what you should do? B is equals to A by L. B is equals to A by L. Is this clear, children? So, if you want length, you can write A by B. If you want breadth, you can write A by L. Same formula we have to cross multiply. That's it, nothing else. Now, children, I hope you have understood what is the length? Area by breadth. If you want to find breadth, then area by length. Next formula, very important, that is diagonal. The next formula is diagonal of rectangle. If you want to find the diagonal of rectangle, then what is the formula we are going to use to find the diagonal of a rectangle? To find the diagonal of a rectangle, the formula is length square, length square plus breadth square length square plus breadth square just we are going to apply the pythagoras for the right angle triangle that is nothing but so diagonal of a rectangle diagonal of a rectangle is nothing but root of l square plus b square so this is the formula to find the diagonal of a rectangle if you know this formulas directly then easily you can solve any problem so here very important in mathematics that is formulas Understood, children? Next formula is perimeter. Next formula is perimeter of rectangle. Perimeter of rectangle. To find the perimeter of rectangle, we have the formula. Perimeter means sum of all the sides. All the sides you have to add. So, here we can write as 2 times of length plus breadth. So, perimeter can be written as P. So, P is equals to 2 into L plus B. So, this is the formula to find the perimeter of rectangle. Any doubts? I hope you have understood. So, what is the area of rectangle children? The area of rectangle is length into breadth and what is the diagonal of rectangle? Diagonal is root of L square plus B square and then what is the perimeter of rectangle? Perimeter of rectangle is 2 times of length plus breadth. So, these are the very important formulas. And after that, let me discuss about square now. Square. Are you getting my points? Very good. Now, first we find the area. So, area of a square. Area of a square is nothing but side square. You remember this is the shape of a square let me say a b c d see all these sides are perpendicular to each other a b b c c d and d a all these sides are equal all these sides will be same in the square and opposite sides are parallel i mean all the sides are equal so opposite almost all the sides are equal okay and a and c is called as diagonal a and c is called as diagonal so, diagonal is a root 2, a root 2, remember this formula. So, here if you have taken the side as a, then we can write directly as a square. To find the area of a square, the formula is a square, that is side square. Side square, square units. Children, one thing we have just left out, what is that here? Here area is square centimeter, then what is the diagonal formula? Root of L square plus B square, right? Then what, what is the SC unit? To find the diagonal, what is the SC unit? Just centimeter. If it is centimeter, you can write centimeter. Then what about the perimeter? So, perimeter is also centimeter only. So, perimeter is also centimeter itself. Don't worry. Understood? If it is meter, you can write meter. Anyways, so area is side square. That is A square is equals to uh, I mean side square that is a square square units or centimeter square and then we are going to have the next formula that is perimeter perimeter so what is the perimeter of a rectangle uh, sorry perimeter of a square formula so perimeter means sum of all the sides totally how many sides we have four sides that is four sides correct no children that is four side we can write as 
4 into if you want you can write like this also 4 into length of each side that can be written as in shortcut Fourier in shortcut we can write Fourier and next we have the formula that is diagonal of a square to find the diagonal of a square so diagonal is root of a square plus a square that is root of 2 a square that is for 2 also we have root for a square also we have root square square root get cancelled so square square root get cancelled that is a root 2 remains as it is that is a root 2 centimeter so this is a diagonal formula and this is the perimeter formula of a square any doubt children i hope you have understood the basics i am right very good children now here the next topic let me discuss uh, next if you want to find just this side then what is the formula will uh, you will use i want to find only one side, a side of a square side of a square so the formula is if you want you can use root of area root of area you can do or you can do perimeter by 4 perimeter by 4 so this is the formula you can use children if you want to find the side of a square okay you have to find the square root of the area area value if they have given just to do square root of that value you will get the side value if not if they have given perimeter then you have to do the per the value of the perimeter divided by 4 so this is the formula you have to use and children uh, here we have one more formula to find the area of a square one more possibility is there. I am giving all the possible formulas. Okay. To find the area of a square, if you want, you can do half of diagonal square. Half of half of diagonal square. That is nothing but half of a root 2 is diagonal, right? Whole square. That is 1 by 2 into a square into 2. Correct? So a square root 2 whole square means square square root get cancelled it becomes 2 2 2 get cancelled that is nothing but a square so directly if you do side square you can find area that's what we have done here can you see this why we have given this because if they have given diagonal value you just have to do half into diagonal value whole square so diagonal value whole square you do divided by 2 if you do you can find the area you can find the area so these are the basic formulas what we are going to use to find the rectangle to find the values of the rectangle and the square and and square children here one more important thing you need to observe that is uh, suppose if we get a question like to find the area of four walls to find the area of four walls then what formula will we use okay if you get a question like to find the area of four walls to find the area of four walls then what is the formula we are going to use simple area of four walls area of four walls is equals to two times of length plus breadth into height two times of length plus breadth into height or you can write directly as 2h into l plus b 2h into l plus b so this is the formula direct formula you can use to find the area of four walls if they give area of six six faces or six walls then if they give area of six walls or we can say six faces also okay no problem so then what is the formula we will we use yes can you tell me children find the area of six faces or six walls what is the formula that is 2 into l into h plus 2 into 2 lh you can write like this if you want 2 into lh plus 2 into bh plus 2 into lb so directly we can write as 2 into uh, lh plus 2 into LH plus BH plus 
एल बी टू इंटू एल एच प्लस बी एच प्लस एल बी सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला वी कैन यूज टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ सिक्स फेसेस फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ सिक्स फेसेस टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ फोर वॉल्स टू एच इंटू एल प्लस बी यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ दिस टू एल एच आर एच एल टू एच बी आर बी एच आर टू एल बी आर टू बी एल एनी थिंग यू कैन राइट सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस ऑल एरिया मीन्स स्क्वायर यूनिट्स एरिया मीन्स स्क्वायर यूनिट्स इज दिस क्लियर is this clear children so this is the formula we are going to use to find the area of four walls and area of six faces and next we have the topic that is triangle the next topic we have triangle children in triangle again we are going to find the area okay we are going to find the area of the triangle so what is the formula area of triangle Childrens, I am just speaking about the basic triangle. The basic triangle. So this is the triangle. Let me say this is A and this is B and this is C. A, B, B, C and C are the three sides of the triangle. And can you see this, childrens? Can you see from? Uh, let me draw one perpendicular line. Let me say AD. Can you see this? AD is perpendicular to BC. So AD is perpendicular to BC. we cannot say in all uh, like in all the triangles it will be like this can we say yes we can say children so here ad is perpendicular to bc uh, now i will do one thing i don't use this perpendicular one okay just i will draw ad okay because i am speaking about the basic triangle so ad is the height of the triangle and what about bc so bc is the base of the triangle what is bc bc is the base of the triangle ad is the height of the triangle now here if you want to find the area of the triangle the basic formula we have half into base into height half into base into height so directly we can write as area of triangle is half into b into h square centimeter or square units so area of triangle formula is what children's half into base into height children's same to find area of triangle we have another formula understood we have another formula if they give you all the sides values if they are going to give all the sides values then we use the formula that is heron's formula we use heron's formula remember this area of triangle formula we have to use this area of triangle formula we have to use if they have given base and height if they have given base and height value we can use area is equals to half into base into height sometimes sometimes what they do suppose this is a triangle suppose this is a triangle abc so let we say let we say the side ab value is a bc value is b and ca value is cp c they give you the sides ab bc and ca values they will give it to you then they will ask you to find the area of the triangle then which formula we use to find the area of triangle to find area of triangle when sides are given when sides are given then we use heron's formula that is root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c so this is the formula what we use to find the area of triangle when sides are given when sides are given where a b c are the three sides of the given triangle then then what is s here so s you have to solve separately so the value of s is a plus b plus c by 2 that is half of a plus b plus c so directly we can write as s equals a plus b plus c by 2 first you find the value of s substitute in the formula a b c values definitely they will give in the problem itself just substitute and easily you can find the area of the triangle understood remember if they have given base and height you can use half into base into height formula if they have given the sides then you can use the formula heron's formula that is root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c okay that is called as 
Heron's formula. Any doubts? Good. Now, here in triangle, we have different types of triangles. In triangle, we have different types of triangles. The first type of triangle, let me discuss. Now, I am coming with the properties of the triangle. With the properties of the triangle. The first type of triangle is right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. The first type of triangle is right angle triangle. Now, let me see about right angle triangle. So, I am go just going to draw a rough figure of right angle triangle. Can you see here? So, this is our right angle triangle. Let me say A, B and C are the three sides of the triangle. So, what is BC? Here BC is the base or you can write as B itself. And what is AB? AB is the height. And what is AC? What is AC here? Let me say this is H and this is B. And let me say this is C. Let me say this is the side name is C. So, that is AC is the hypotenuse. AC is the hypotenuse. That is called as hypotenuse. So, the value of AC if you want to find that is root of b square plus h square b square plus h square got it so right angle triangle formula if you want to find the area of the right angle if you want to find the area of the right angle then we use the formula half into half into product of product of sides product of sides containing product of sides containing the right product of sides of the uh, product of sides containing the right angle that's nothing but we can write here that is area is equals to half into b into h so see children so this is our right angle can you see angle b is right angle here so, product of the sides containing the right angle. So, which are the sides containing right angle? You can see here, this is the side containing right angle and this is a side which is containing right angle. Be careful. So, we have to multiply these two sides that is B and H. Can you see this? B, C and A, H, A, B, we have to multiply these two sides. So, this is the two sides which contains the right angle. So, we have written half into B into H. Half into B into H. So, according to this figure, According to this figure, that is half into AB into BC, half into AB into BC. So, this is the formula what we use to find the area of right angle triangle. Any doubts? Good. So, remember hypotenuse is AC. What is AC is called as hypotenuse. Remember AC is called as hypotenuse so the what is the formula root of b square plus h square even we use this formula also sometimes if they have not given b value or h value sometimes they won't give a b value or b c value they don't give but they will give a c value by using this you have to find the side then by finding both the sides a b and b c sides you have to substitute in the formula so then we will be using hypotenuse formula Anyhow, when we solve the problems, I will discuss how and when, where we have to use this. Just to remember this basics. Okay. And after that, we have the next type of triangle that is, I mean, uh, equilateral triangle. The next type of triangle we have, equilateral triangle. Okay. So, what is the formula we have to find the equilateral triangle? So, what do you mean by equilateral triangle, children? Equilateral triangle is a type of triangle in which all the three sides will be equal. All the three sides will be equal. That is A, B, C. All the three sides are equal. And all the corresponding angles are also equal. Angle A, angle B and angle C, all the three angles will also be equal. Such a triangle is called as equilateral triangle. Now, in this equilateral triangle, uh, let me consider all the sides as A, B, A, B, C or we can also write here as A, A, A because all the three sides are equal here, right? All the three sides are equal, no? So, we can write same same alphabet, shall we denote with the same alphabet? Yes, if you want, we can do it. 
So let me write all the three sides as A A A. Okay. See, students, I am discussing about some important properties about this triangle. So what is the formula to find the uh, like? Uh, so what is the direct formula we have equilateral triangle? There is a derivation. If you want, I can derive this also by using the Heron's formula. If not directly, you can remember. If you want, you can just directly remember the area of equilateral triangle is uh, just a minute root three. Yeah, root three by four into side square. Root three by four into side square. That can also be written as area is equals to root three by four into a square. So this is the formula we use to find the area of equilateral triangle. Children, in your numericals, they will ask you one more formula that is height of equilateral triangle. In your problems, you have this. Okay. If you want to find the height of equilateral triangle, then we use the formula root three by two into a. That is a root three by two. A root three by two. That is root three by two into a or a root three by two. So this is the formula what we use to find the height of equilateral triangle. Any doubts? The next case we have the next type of triangle that is isosceles triangle. This type of triangle isosceles isosceles triangle. Children, in this isosceles triangle, if you want to find the uh, area, if you want to find the area of isosceles triangle, then we have the formula uh, that is, so what do you mean by isosceles triangle? Suppose this is our triangle ABC, okay. Remember, isosceles triangle is a, sustep, is a triangle in which any two sides will be equal, any two sides will be equal, okay. So here, let me consider this side as BC as A and this both the sides as B. Let me consider this both the sides as B value. The value is B. Here BC is A, AB is B and AC is also B. So what is the formula to find the area of isosceles triangle? Because here both we have taken AB is equals to AC. In this case, we have taken AB is equals to AC. Then we use the formula that is uh, if you have seen half into base and what about this side children that is AD. AD is what? Height of the triangle. AD is height of the triangle. So directly if we are going to solve um, area of isosceles triangle ABC. Okay. Let me to derive this. It will be helpful because each and every step will be very helpful for you. Half into base into height. That's nothing but half into base what is the value of base that is a and what about the height what about h value you can see that so this ad is perpendicular to bc right we have to apply pythagoras as per pythagoras the height value that is h so ad is h okay so the value of h will be the ad will be once if we derive that will become 4 b square minus a square it will become 4 b square minus a square so directly we can write here as 1 by 4, if you simplify these all values, we will be get the value like this, 1 by 4 into a root of 4b square minus a square. Is this clear children? So 1 by 4 into a into 4b square minus a square. So this is the formula which we use to find the area of isosceles triangles. Any doubts? Still, if you have any doubts, I mean, you have any confusion with this part? Yes, of course, I know very well. You may have a doubt with the formula of H, that is height. So, how we got this value of H as root of 4B square minus A square? Right, children? No problem. I will just derive this. You can see here. It's very simple. Now, how to find this H? Okay. Children, you can see the total value of BC is A units. The total value of BC is A unit. So we can write BD is half of BC or CD or DC is half of BC. Yes. So here let me take any one side triangle. When AD is per in triangle, 
let me say like this in triangle ABC we know that AD is perpendicular to BC in triangle ABC AD is perpendicular to BC now how much what will be the value of BD so BD will be half of BC can you see this BD can you side can you see this side BD so total side is BC so BD will be half of BC that can be written as half of A half of A because we have taken the side BC as A units so half of A so BD will be half of A now any one triangle we can take shall we take the first side triangle I am going to take this side triangle children shall we take this part shall we take this part yes if you want you can take left side triangle or you can take right side triangle it's up to you so in right angle triangle ABD in right angle triangle ABD we know that AB square hypotenuse AB will be hypotenuse AB square is equals to AD square plus BD square or DB square remember children if this is a triangle and this is the right angle remember opposite to this right angle can you see this a right angle ke jo samne jo side dikhai de rahi hai let me say this is ABC opposite to this right angle which is a side you can see you can see we can say we can see this side so let the figure be in any of the shape see opposite to this right angle symbol right angle symbol ke jo samne jo side dikhai de rahi hai usko hum bolte hai hypotenuse this side we call it as hypotenuse opposite to this right angle symbol whichever the side we see that is called as hypotenuse got it so here Pythagoras says that square of the hypotenuse that is according to this triangle ABD AB is hypotenuse so AB square is equals to sum of the squares on the other two sides that is AD square plus DB square but here what we want we want AD we doesn't know the value of AD that is what we need to find right children so keep AD as it is so what happens AD square is equals to AB square so plus BD square come this side correct no children we are keeping AD square as it is plus BD square come to the LHS side it becomes minus BD square similarly if you want AD then AD will become square come to the opposite side it becomes square root that is square root of AB square minus BD square right yes so what is AD here AD is H is equals to root of AB what is the value of AB that is B that is B square minus what is BD we have already seen here the value of BD is half of A right if you do square for this BD is I'll show you it's very simple BD is half of A if you want to square both the sides you have to do square here also we should do square so what happens for BD square 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 A square is as it is that is 1 by 4 A square that's nothing but 1 by 4 A square now uh, children's root you have supposed to write till here from here to here it's complete square root it's under the complete square root now H is equals to root of what is the LCM? LCM is 4. Then here 4B square 1 into A square is A square. Now we can see square root is there for numerator as well as denominator. So here what happens? Root of 4B square minus A square divided by root of 4. Root of 4. Then what happens? The value of H finally. So root of 4b square minus a square will be as it is square root of 4 is 2 square root of 4 is 2 so root of 4b square minus a square by 2 so we can also write as h is equals to 1 by 2 into um, 4b square minus a square by 2 right yeah so 1 by 2 into root of 4b square minus a square so this is the formula we use to find the height of the equilateral triangle the same h value we have substituted in this formula that's it you understood right how to find the height of the equilateral triangle yes this is the way we are supposed to find the area of equilateral triangle so we have completed the basic things 
like rectangle square which is required in this chapter we are we are just concentrating on that part that is and different types of triangles done and after that now we have one more topic that is parallelogram that is quadrilateral now we are going to discuss about parallelogram parallelogram here you know very well what is parallelogram so this is what we called as parallelogram in this parallelogram opposite sides are parallel opposite sides are parallel so let me say uh, i'll just draw a little bit bigger so that it will be easy for you to understand so this is the parallelogram let me say this is a b c d are the four sides of the parallelogram okay so what is a b so a b is nothing but base similarly i will draw uh, one perpendicular line a b c d uh, better i'll do one thing mm, a b c d let me take in clockwise direction it will be easy okay ad is the base and let me draw one perpendicular line let me draw one perpendicular line that is l so what is al here al is h that is height of the parallelogram similarly if you want one more value you can extend the line you can extend the line here okay this is a d so here uh, c uh, i mean let me write as f here cf is also height cf is also height of the triangle similarly can we extend here can we extend here let me write this point as e let me write this point as e okay and anything is missing Yes. So we have made that shape as a rectangle. We have converted this shape as a rectangle. I'll tell you what is the reason. And this is also h, that is height. And here, similarly, can we draw one more perpendicular line here? Then this is also height. Then even this is also height. So it means while solving the problems, we can design the figure in this shape. Maximum we can design the figure in this manner, and we can solve the problems. So you should know. what are the abbreviations we call it as and here you can see we get one angle right uh that is one minute so this is our parallelogram right yeah this is our parallelogram can you see here yes so this is one angle and similarly we can see even here one angle of a quadrilateral okay exterior angles anyways i'll tell you later while solving the problems what exactly these all means but just you can just remember so abcd is a parallelogram here so what is ad ad is the base and what is bl bl is the height so here we have the formula to find area of parallelogram area of parallelogram children can we find area of parallelogram directly by using any formula is it possible is it possible to find the area of area of parallelogram directly can you tell me is it possible no why why is this i'll tell you yes can you write yes it is possible that is area of parallelogram is base into height base into height but one thing i can tell you children this formula in maximum cases it doesn't works out why because i'll tell you the reason uh, children uh, one thing you can just concentrate if you want to find the area of parallelogram parallelogram we can see here in this how many figures are there in this in the given figure what we have drawn figure here how many figures are here we can see one rectangle is there correct i'll just show you so we have one rectangle like this that is e c f a we have one rectangle and similarly we have one triangle that is triangle a e b 
can you see here we have one triangle also in this triangle AEB and also we have one more triangle that is triangle can you see here that is triangle CFD so let me write here EB as X units and DF as X units okay let me write C EB and C DF as X units okay altogether we have one rectangle we have two triangles as well as we have one parallelogram as well we have one parallelogram so this one diagram consists of four figures but one thing you remember in according to this the area of this triangle that is triangle AEB is congruent to area of triangle CDF these both the triangles are congruent means same areas you can see here can you see this this area can you see this this area and this triangle area this both the triangle areas are congruent to each other and inside we can see here we have parallelogram so this is our parallelogram correct children correct so this is our parallelogram and outside we can see a rectangle outside we can see one rectangle so this is what exact the figure so here directly we can write here that is because this step will be helpful while you are solving a long answer carrying question that is area of rectangle area of rectangle is equals to area we can write a shortcut ar also that is area of parallelogram this is the symbol you can write like this also area of parallelogram plus area of triangle AEB plus area of triangle CFD CFD so remember this is very 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 important formula because in your exam out of these four values any one value they can ask you in your question so you should be very careful with respect to this step so total we have a in parallelogram we have a, we have made a rectangle and we have made two triangles so in this step you can get any kind of problem in this anything you can find you can find rectangle you can find parallelogram area you can find area of triangle ab or you can find area of triangle cfd i'll derive here how we got area of parallelogram as base into height if you want we can do it no problem so what is area of rectangle so area of rectangle so what is the formula to find the area of rectangle so what is the area of rectangle here a f c e a f c e is the area of rectangle no i'll write if you want a f c e this complete is rectangle region the complete triangle is i mean the complete uh, figure is rectangle a f c e so here uh, we can use one minute so area of rectangle right a f c e. uh, what is the area of rectangle formula length into breadth so what is the length value here can you see length is total is length here from here to here is b from here to here is x can you see can you see this students can you see this part this complete is length correct so what is the length value b plus x length into breadth breadth is height h is equals to area of parallelogram we don't know so we are going to find this area of parallelogram value plus what is area of triangle uh, AEB that is half into base into height half into x into h plus half into x into h base is x height is h correct then uh, what we can do here b plus uh, I mean one minute I'll just show you b plus x into h is equal to area of parallelogram we want what do we want we want area of parallelogram so we are going to keep this value as it is we are going to keep area of parallelogram a b c d area of parallelogram a b c d that is the area of parallelogram a b c d we are going to keep as it is this half into x into h plus half into x into h it becomes what children half plus half it becomes full that's nothing but b plus x into h is equals to area of parallelogram plus x h half plus half is 1 x h 
any doubt now what we can do b plus x into h plus it comes here it becomes minus x h is equals to area of parallelogram so therefore area of parallelogram is equals to shall we multiply b into h it becomes b h plus into plus is plus i am multiplying these both values can you see here yeah these values we are multiplying b into h is b h plus x into h becomes x h minus x h so plus x h minus x h will get cancelled so therefore we get the value that is area of parallelogram is equals to b into h that is nothing but base into height base into height so this is the formula what we use to find the area of parallelogram okay any doubts i hope you have understood these steps so remember this step is important and even this step is important so you should not forget these two steps while solving the problem so this is regarding area of parallelogram and now we have one more topic that is nothing but rhombus what it is rhombus okay so i hope you have seen the shape of the rhombus right so this is the shape of the rhombus i'll show you you can see it's very simple so this is the shape of the rhombus so here we can say a b c and d are the sides of the rhombus so here b d is the diagonal and a c is the diagonal so remember all the four all the i mean both the diagonals meet at the point o they are right angle they are right angle so directly we can write the formula i am not deriving directly i am writing here so area of rhombus is equals to half into product of diagonals half into product of diagonals okay that's nothing but area of rhombus is half into ac ac into bd half into ac into bd but this is the main formula so area of rhombus is half into product of diagonals so ac and bd both are the diagonals you have to find the half of that so that is the formula we use to find the area of the rhombus similarly we have one more topic that is trapezium one more topic we have trapezium i hope you have seen the shape of the trapezium yes so this is the shape of the trapezium very simple children it looks so complicated but really once if you start solving then it will be very easy for you to understand okay just little interest you have to show that's it nothing else so here opposite sides are parallel and another opposite sides are non parallel so this is ab cd ab cd is a trapezium as we can see we can draw one perpendicular line let me say this as e let me say this as e and you can see ab is a units this side and this side is b units this side is b units so here ad is ae is perpendicular to ab similarly we can extend the line here and also from here also we can extend the line we can write this point as f and here also we can see that uh, cf i mean yeah, b is extending till f and cd is extending till f and this is h and even this is also h that is height so even this figure also we can change in this form we can change into this form so anyways here area of trapezium we have the formula to find the area of trapezium that is half into height into sum of the two parallel sides area of trapezium is half into height into sum of the two parallel sides so this is the formula which we use to find the area of trapezium here half into if you want i will write once again height into sum of the 
two parallel sides sum of the two parallel sides so this is the formula which we use to find the area of trapezium any doubts i hope you have understood the concepts about the formulas what all the things we are going to use to solve the problems of this chapter in our next video we are going to continue this chapter with the numericals which belongs to this chapter of class 9 icse syllabus if you have liked this video do not forget to comment below how was this session how much this concept is helpful and useful to you all and just in a fraction of seconds you can just share this video you can put your whatsapp status or by any channel you can just share this video to your all friends to your all family members the one who is in need definitely it will be helpful for them that is the reason share them speak with them promote it so the one who wants as i said they can use this